Hello students how are you all I hope you all are fit and fine I myself Elvina De Melo your math teacher for standard 4th from St Paul's High School Mira Road East once again welcome you all in this part 2 video five digit subtraction without borrow first one 45876 minus 12361 now student in part 1 video you have already learned four digit subtraction now we are going to learn five digit subtraction that is one digit is added that is 10000 place so again you are going to write the digit according to their correct places now student again you have to subtract the numbers from right hand side that is from ones place correct so can you see student what is in ones place which digit 6 and 1 so you are going to minus 1 from 6 now see 1 is the smaller number so you can minus it so 6 minus 1 becomes 5 then comes the tens place that is 7 minus 6 is 1 then we will move to hundreds place that is 8 minus 3 is 5 then let's move to thousands place 5 minus 2 is 3 and the last 10000 place that is 4 minus 1 is 3 so what is your answer your answer is 33500 Fifteen. So, have you all understood, students? Five digit subtraction with borrowing. Now, here this is five digit subtraction, but with borrowing method. So, again, you have to write according to their places. So, let's begin with ones place. Five minus six. That is, you have to subtract six from five. But student, can you see six is greater than five, so you cannot subtract. So what are you going to do? You are going to borrow one number from its neighbor. That is, who is his neighbor? Tens place. So in tens place, you have the number six. So six will give one number to ones place. That is to five, and five will become fifteen. So six will reduce to five because six gave one number to five and five become fifteen. So six is reduced to one number that is five. Now can you minus six from fifteen? Yes. Now you can minus. So the answer is nine. Now in tens place, can you minus two from five? Yes. And the answer is three. Now student let's move to the next place that is hundreds place. So again 6 you have to minus from 3. You cannot do that. So again thousand place will give one number to hundred. So 3 will become 13 and in thousand place 6 will become 5 because one number it gave to hundreds place. So now six you can minus from thirteen. So thirteen minus six is seven, and in thousand place you are going to subtract five from five. That is zero. Now we will move on to the last digit. That is ten thousand. So nine minus six is three. So your student, your answer is. Thirty thousand seven hundred and thirty-nine. Okay, students. Now we are going to start with the word problems. Now, students, what are word problems? Can anyone tell me? Yes. When questions of mathematics are presented in the form of a story. Okay, so we call them as word problems. like inside the story there are numbers which we need to use to solve the problems for example in word problems you have to keep these three things in mind first the statement second you have to solve the sum and third you have to write the final answer 
Raju bought 947 chocolates on his birthday. He distributed 736 chocolates among his friends. How many chocolates are left with him? Now student here you have to find out how many chocolates are left with Raju. So first what you are going to do you are going to write the statements. So student can you see you have to find out the statement from the question itself. So Raju bought 947 chocolates on his birthday. So your first statement will be number of chocolates Raju bought that is 947. He distributed 736 chocolates among his friends. So your second statement will be number of chocolates Raju distributed that is 736. Now you have to find out how many chocolates are left with him. So, your third and last statement will be number of chocolates left with him. So, when you want to find out number of chocolates left, then you are going to subtract. So, here you are going to subtract 736 from 947. So, students, now you are going to write the digits according to their places. Now you have three digits over here. So you are going to write ones, tens and hundreds. Now first you are going to minus or subtract from ones place. That is seven minus six will be one. Then we will move to tens position. Four minus three is one. And then two hundreds. That is 9 minus 7 is 2. So student, here you have got the answer. Raju is left with 211 chocolates. Very good. Now, what you have to do students, you have to do the worksheet over here. I will give you some questions and you have to solve that in your notebook. Okay? So note down these questions and solve all the sums. Okay students, I hope you all understood the lesson. Yes or no? What you have to do? You have to keep on practicing the sums. So whatever worksheets I have given you, you have to practice at home. Okay students? So keep washing your hands, be healthy, be fit and let's meet in next video. Till then, have a good day.